In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to add lines to a show by using the system's fire button and how to work with an external timecode. We're also going to take a closer look at the system wing and how to create backup queues and program DMX to the wing. Start by creating a new show in your project. Add the first queue and enter your edit mode. Make sure you've selected the manual mode and check the box for external timecode. The system clock will start running as soon as you receive an incoming timecode from an external source. Once your timecode is running, you can add lines to your queue by hitting the fire button on the G2 system or by hitting the fire button on the joystick. All the lines that you add will be set to the exact time you hit the button, referring to the timecode that is being fed to the system from the external time source. Click OK when you're done. Here you see all the lines that you added, showing the time and delay referred to the timecode. If you wish to run this queue to a timecode, go to the timer option and select the type of code that you're using. When this step is completed, you will no longer be able to start the script with the buttons on the system. The only way to fire the script now is by receiving a timecode which sets off the clock. The countdown clock shown underneath lets you know how much time is left before the next upcoming line will be fired. To be able to add and control a queue from the system wing, go to Edit Backup. Add a queue and a line, and pick the desired effect you wish to set off. In this case, the line we added will fire right away since we have not set any delay time. We're now ready to add this queue to the system wing. In this mode, you can choose which button you wish to assign for this specific queue. Now make sure that you're on the right set on your wing. This is shown in the upper right corner. Set number 1 will control faders 1 to 16. Use the arrow buttons to skip to the next set. Here showing faders 17 to 32. Let us add the queue that we just created to button number 1. Click the button, choose backup queue, and select your desired queue. In this step, you can give your queue a name. Your backup queue is now assigned to your wing. This queue can now be fired manually from the wing at the same time as you are running a separate firing script from the system. To be able to fire this queue, you need to raise the fader to 50%. Once the light has turned green, your button is active and ready to set off the queue. Let's add some DMX addresses to the system wing. In this case, we will add our CO2 jets starting at button number 5 on the wing. Select DMX to see all the channels we've added to our scene setup. The unit you pick will now show up on the screen above the fader. Go ahead and add the rest of the CO2 jets to buttons number 6 to 8. When this step is completed, you will now be able to trigger these DMX units live during your show as many times as you like. If you wish to assign more than one DMX channel to one button, select a button and pick the channels you wish to assign. Repeat this step to assign the remaining jets to the next button. Button number 12 will be used to trigger all four CO2 jets Go ahead and add all of them to this button. The switch pack that we're using has a safety channel which needs to be activated to be able to operate our DMX channels. And we can choose to assign the safety channel to any one of the faders on the wing. We can also choose to assign the big fader to the right for this. Even though this one says safety, it is not assigned to any function by default. Click on the fader and select DMX and pick the safety channel on your switch pack. Keep in mind that you will lose access to the safety function once you're skipping between different sets if it's assigned to a regular fader. 
If you instead choose the big fader to the right as your safety, this one will always be easy to access, regardless of what set you're in. In the next tutorial, we'll show you how to run tests on your field modules, how to run shows manually and with the timecode. We're also going to show you how to fire your cues and effects from the system wing.